Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to this FP podcast between myself and Kron Aberrant. We're going to be playing right now on Act Natural. This is a map we've seen a fair bit recently, actually, and it's going to be played on the new EXP mod, and we're trying out CISO. Now, I'm just going to go over some of the changes as I encounter them. First big change is that resource processors are now double cost. If you've seen my other cast on this, it's something to come up, but it's worth repeating because it's a huge change. The double cost have double harvest rate and otherwise are unchanged. So same harvest rate per cost, but chunkier. Now, CISO doesn't have any major early game changes, though ATHCs no longer cloak and ATHCs can only hit ground. Lancers only hit air before getting aerospace. This is to make them a bit more specialized, since CISO has so many units already that having a bit of specialization can work for them. This also means the units are a bit more interesting, and not so many units that are just hitting all air and ground. Now, Crown Amrit, I'm not sure what he's playing, but he's probably playing Grekum since he always plays Grekum. So it seems safe to assume. It's gonna get started up, fast forward a bit, so that I have my early start going, and actually, I'm gonna get really early RP, since, or, or importers, I should say, because he's going for Grekum, and the last game I played against him, he went for a proxy strategy on me. Mind you, it was on Cold Forge, but there's a very available expansion in the back that allows for this sort of proxy strategy, but still, I'm a little bit wary. So I'm just going to set myself up so that I have... Oh, wow, he's already attacking me. So I should mention... Here we are. Yes, he is playing Grekum. Now, Grekum gets an extra Seppi. They get one fewer RP, however, because, like I said, RPs are now twice as effective per... R as twice as much RP per RP. So they only get one. They used to get two, now they get one. And... Other than that, there's absolutely no change to Grekum. Nothing has changed about them. They are pretty much the control point. Everything is, everything else has changed. Every other race has had some changes, but Grekum is pretty much the same as it was before. However, I'm a little bit concerned. I think I'm just going to send this Marine out a bit to scout out a bit. And I know that Marines are supposed to be used for the whole fast expansion thing, but given that RPs are quite effective as they are, not having very many of them, I can stand to saturate my main base and wait a little bit. So, now that my factory's up, get an ATHC up, and that should work pretty well. I'm gonna get the Marine up, too. I'm, I'm feeling paranoid. I'm just sure he's out. He's got something somewhere. I'm just sure of it. And I just want to get an ATHC as well, and then get a Lancer so I can do more. Oh, no reserves. Okay. Get an Importer, so that I have more reserves. And you just go around, because I'm... I am certain he's got something up his sleeve. I just... I mean, it might just be me. I might... He might just be mind... He might have just mind-gamed me already without even trying. That might just be it. I don't know. But I think that I probably have to be careful. I I just have a hunch that he's probably going to try to get me with something. Oh, hey, there he is. Back in Total Blast. Okay, so... Right before the present at the 234 mark, looks like the Seppi has hit my main base and is killing my Marine. Well, that's what you do with CISO, you hit him in the Marines, as Vikran always says. And Vikran being the best CISO player pretty much ever, though he would know. However, this is still a concern because it does mean... Oh, in the main base. No, he has his Seppi and Oxus. He has a full trident in the main base, so... Okay, I guess I shouldn't be paranoid. Looks like he's not going for any tricky harassment or anything. However, I do have a Lancer, do. I am dual Lancer. It's somewhere around here. Here we are, okay. So you... Like I said, Lancers do not attack ground in pre-aerospace game. Once you get aerospace, they start to attack ground, but before aerospace, they don't. So I don't have to worry about this quite yet, and I'm just going to get another machinery. I can get a tank and... or a tornado. Actually, mm hmm. Good question. Not sure which to go for, but I can't really tell from here. I will be able to tell once my Lancer gets in, which is now, actually. So my Lancer will be able to come around, and once the Red Time Wave comes along, that's when I'm really curious about what's going on. And he is building... Oh, see, he was trying to expand to my main base, so he will at least get a Seppi in my natural expansion. So maybe it was right to be paranoid. How about that? Oh. <laughs> Never realized it'd actually pay off to be paranoid. It doesn't often do that, but sometimes it does. So let's get a mech up as well. Probably need that eventually for Macrofab. Pretty soon, actually, I would imagine, for Macrofab. Get that up, so now I have a tank building up. And one tank, probably enough. Get myself a Macrofab. 
pretty soon, although I'm I'm still feeling paranoid. I still feel like there's something out there. Maybe we should get a defense turret. Let's get a macro fab first, and then get a defense turret afterwards, because I'm I just I don't know, I'm feeling paranoid. Oh yeah, right. Let's check where my Lancer sees. So my Lancer sees a full triad and some Octos heading towards my base, or actually just dancing around a bit, doing mu not doing much. ATC isn't seeing much either, so I really don't have much going on. Hmm. Okay, maybe it was wrong to be paranoid. Build up another mech, and you build an you build a fence turret over here. Maybe wrong to be paranoid, but I'm still going to be paranoid. And you build a fence turret over here. For all I know, he might go for chronoport pharopods, and they'd hit right about now-ish. Actually, for that matter, oh, okay, that's my lancer getting hit. Ah, so that's what he's up to. And it looks like he. Okay, so I see nothing super out of the ordinary. But that's just... That might be what he wants me to see. At that point, I haven't... At this point, I haven't really scattered anything else. So the ATG hasn't really spotted much. Looking around other expansions... Actually, you know what? You go over here. I want to see what, what he's doing over here. I'm just sure he's doing something. So you go over there. Change your old route. And... See, so you were building a defense turret up here, so that's fine. He doesn't mind to do that. You're building me another... QPRP, and my first defense turret will be going up fairly soon. Actually, you want, I want you to build me another factory. Or, or not. That works too, I suppose. Not what I was going for, though. A factory would be nice. Another one. Just because it's always nice to have that for consolidation, and it does get in the way of things. does stop enemies from attacking me. And the defense turret, of course, is in place, so in case fire pods come back, I will be able to defend against them somewhat. Oh hey, I have enough money for Mac for an MFB, which is what I wanted. Don't have enough money for specials though, which is what I don't, which is what I also want. To point out one of the other changes is that Temporal Solution Shield is now on the MFB, and also Blackbirds can cloak. Just pointing that out there. But big thing, TSS on MFB. Temporal Solution Shield is an invulnerability shield that was on the Chrono Porter that no one ever used, ever. Because I mean, you had to get a Chrono, you had to get Gate Tech, you had to get a Chrono Porter, you had to get specials, you had to get a ton of things all together in order to have a chance of being able to get and it looks like no he hasn't yet built anything okay so let's see further in the future no he still hasn't built a spire and my lancer is being stupid so okay i don't know why you're not just moving I might have messed something up in the patrol scripts but anyway so the he is okay yes yeah, so i've got to double check the scripting actually you come back home i don't want to lose you I realize you're cheap as dirt, and I don't really have to worry about it, but I still don't want to lose you. Sentimental value, if nothing else. So, mech coming back towards the base. This is what we've already seen, because I was playing right into the future. And I'm really surprised I haven't seen him expand. I think he is just saturating his main base. He's really focusing on main base saturation, and just one-basing it. And, let's see, QP being used here. Let's give me another marine. I don't have a marine here, but I do have what I can use to build an ATHC, which can be at least somewhat useful for defense. And where is my... What the... Oh, I want that again. Where is my... Whoa, what's going on here? What the... I... Darn it, your defense turrets are for. You're not supposed to be here yet. Crap, he's damaging my tank. Okay, well, tank, you go back here. You stay here. You go there. Oh, crap, it doesn't matter. Great. Okay, well, he can't do anything more from here. So, you go up here. No, no. Oh, shit. Okay, well, one of you build something. Not you, you go over there. I want... Damn it. Where is my Q... Of course, you have to kill my only QPRP. Ugh. It's just perfect. Why did you not build an earlier QPRP? 
Seriously, what's wrong with you? What mound are we? Oh, come on! Yeah, it's hard to figure out what anything can, what can happen with these changes. And of course, my importer has to get. I'm not using my importers very well, am I? This is not surprising. I need to get. I need my QP in order to actually do stuff. I don't have any QP with which to do stuff. I don't have my freaking mech. Where is my mech? Ah, why is everything getting destroyed from under me? It's getting rather annoying. No, you idiot! Move over here. Build turret. Stop the pharopod. It's that simple. Uh, or at least it should be, in theory. You build me an RP here, or build me importer. In the no! Undo, and then go here and build me what I want. Stop wasting my current energy. Where, where'd my mech go? Ugh. You be useful! Goodness sakes. It's not that hard. Just go here, build a turret. We have the money. Finally! Oh, for- Ugh. Stupid piece of shit. It's being really annoying now. Just... This has to go for that- Oh, wait. Oh, right, SOPs can detect. Shit. No one ever use- use SOPs are useless. That's why no one ever uses them. Except when they're needed. Which is right now. Or Tornadoes, they can also detect, but I don't have any reserves, so that's not gonna work. I... Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. Kinda stuck. I'm not gonna lie. No reserves. No detectors. I got nothing. Well, that was a short game. How long till another reserve comes? Okay, finally! Finally get a reserve up. Get me Tornads. And Sops and something or other. Anything! I'm trying to get desperate. Actually, no. Not, not that. Not that. Anything but that. Well. Okay, finally go to the stupid Farabot. As likely as not, he's gonna get Chrono porting and then pull that back, so I don't. So I'm gonna be able to stop it this way. But at least I can try. Oh, no reserves, wonderful. At least Max can be somewhat useful. Incidentally, I don't play C so much, so this is still a little bit unfamiliar to me, the way a lot of this works. Now, if you'd be so kind as to build a defense turret here, that would be wonderful. Oh. What's changing now? You go over here and stop him. Where's my... Oh. Okay, good, that was enough. The short-lived defense turret was at least enough. Now put that there so it's actually up and ready before any farbots come up. Okay, so you, I want you to go over here, build me more RPs, and at least we can somewhat get around this. Although I'm quite worried because I hear I hear per generation and I don't know where it is. But I also have now my main base is now free from harassment. And you can finally build that defense turret I wanted you to build. Or should be able to, I hope. I suppose as likely as not, you won't. And it sounds like chronoporting coming up. Yeah, that's probably chronoporting. Okay, well, I'm not sure I'm gonna deal with that. I really don't know. We have an ATC hunting out some RPs, which is good. Not sure where my Mar tanks went off to. I don't know why you're hanging out here. I don't know why you're hanging out here at all. Go over here and then go down. I need you to keep stuff safe. And go down and get me more. I don't have resources. What? Oh, more tanks A. That's why. And. Need more stuff. Okay, well, you have RPs building up, so that's good. 
And you guys are going to- Oh my- Oh! Okay. That's unexpected. He's going for far Ligos. <sighs> so my guess is that he's going to try to do a Chronoport Freeze attack. Because far Ligos have the Freeze Bomb ability, and he's probably expecting that would be a good thing to do. And it would, because I don't have any recoverers. No real frigate presence, and not much of anything else. So yeah, I don't have any way of recovering anything. Great granny is though. And where's my? Ah, oh, there's my marine. So I know he's aware of this expansion, so this is kind of risky, but might work. Yeah, you two get over here and at least damage what he has. She's got a lot of RPs around here in the center. And where's my... Wait, where'd my Assault Force go? I had... Oh, must be back here. Oh, right, they all died. Horribly. So, you guys don't attack directly. Go to the expansion. Maybe you have something there. Gosh, I know there's this expansion. Oh, great. Lost my free already. Ah. <sighs> Darn it, I do not have I can't believe I do not have enough resources as CISO! CISO, the Expansion Kings. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Well, I'm not Vicarin, that doesn't help, but that shouldn't- that's not the big deal. One he still does is Vicarin does without being Vicarin. Of course, it's kind of too late now. I suppose the Farbot harassment was not good. I, no one ever uses Farbot normally. Like, they're too expensive normally, so no one ever really uses them, but I guess- I guess now they're useful. I mean, there's a bit more money with the, with the RPs being more powerful individually. You don't have to get out and risk your neck quite as much, which is fine, because for Vecchio especially, it was darn near impossible to actually get anything done, since you had to expand so much that you spread yourself way too thin to do anything with. Still, it does feel like it's hard to actually recover from this, which... Hmm, I'll have to think about that one. On the one hand, that's good, because it means that games are more decisive. Which is what we're seeing right now, which I suppose, really, that's this is what I want. Like, games to be decisive for there to be spear moves, essentially. Moves that just are powerful because they're powerful, because they actually counter what your opponent's doing. So it's more of a strategic win rather than just luck or just get you know, one right thing on positioning or we happen to have just that many more units than your opponent. They actually get ways out of it, which means, in theory, that I have a way of doing this. I'm not sure if I do, but I shall try. And actually, also double check what's going on here. Oh, nope, no I don't. Not easily. No, I don't think this is gonna build up in time. Crap. Okay, okay. Don't bother, don't build anything. You build me a macrofab. A backup macrofab, naturally. Oh crap, not gonna get specials up either. Where'd my marine go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Now, of course, here comes the part. And here's the freeze, as expected. So, what do I do with this? Nothing, because I don't have any frigates. And turrets don't recover status, they just break shield. I will upgrade my turret, though, because I might as well. Actually, oh, shoot, I don't have a chance to upgrade the turret here. Did I ever build a turret here? I don't see a turret here. Now, at least this can try to do something, but it really can't do anything. Shoot. So yeah, I'm feeling really on the back foot of CISO, which is surprising. I wonder if I overdid it with these changes. I'm probably just playing wrong. I don't main CISO, so this is a little bit unfamiliar to me, I'm gonna be honest. This isn't... This isn't something I'm that familiar with, in terms of how it pans out in practice, so... I might just be doing it wrong. I probably am doing it wrong. That would not surprise me. And like I said, the changes that I made, I wanted it to be a bit more like this, a bit more where you have these decisive plays, whereas, you know, just having the right having the right units and countering your opponent's strategy properly is really what gives you an advantage, because that's something that I find interesting. But at the same time, it means that my opponent can just use the right move to counter my strategy, which, of course, Ruins everything. Oh, hey, the frigates are frozen. Perfect. Okay, you get out of the way. You guys just get out of the way so that when the freeze happens, you can at least recover stuff. Over here, over here. Recover. No. 
Recover! Have it die! Well, at least the Pharopods. Our Pharoliga that used it is still frozen, but... They have a Pharopod with them, so that's not gonna last long. And I don't really see any way of getting out of this. Because he knows about my expansion over here. And he probably is guessing that I have an expansion over here. If he knows about this expansion, he can likely guess this expansion. And... Oh, bloody hell. Sorry, I didn't even watching the stream. I forgot to actually put the stream on. But... It's on YouTube, so, or will be on YouTube, so you can watch it there. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the pretty picture. Oh, it looks like she have quite a bit of money now, but it's probably just because I haven't been attacked yet. Well, let's get more units, and if I'm lucky, I can at least... Oh, you know what? Get up a comm center. At least a comm center will give me vision, and that's useful. That's useful because it means that I don't have to worry so much about whether I'm going to be attacked, I'll just know when it happens. Though, when it ever happens, it's going to be a bad thing. There's not much I can say about that. It's it's not going to be good. it's not going to be pretty for me. But I do at least have a couple sa relatively safe bases. And by relatively, I mean completely unsafe. Wait, why are you not helping? Oh, you're not there. That's why. Why are you not helping? You are there. You get in the way. These guys are bombers. They're oh. These guys are nominally bombers, but they're higher tier units. They're gonna be more generalist. Yeah, this is not going well. See, I don't expect much from this. Oh well. Still, it was worth a shot. I think I might have one more shot at this, but I doubt it now. No, I'm kind of done. Oh, he's got Octoligos too! That's what these are. They're Octoligos, and we don't see much of those. So, interesting legal class trade. Yep, there we go. Octoligo, right here. That's our man. And he's killing my stuff. And that's not good. Crap, get out, get out! No! I Maybe you can build him. No, I don't think you can. We're, we're done here. I think we're done here. I, I don't see any way out of this. Yeah, I, it can see about as far as my comm center can, and destroy everything. Well, that was certainly an interesting game. I... Yeah, everything seems to be working as intended. I'm doing a terrible job of predicting how intended is supposed to work, in practice, or thinking about the fact that it's supposed to work as intended, but I'd say it's working as intended. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm just gonna go out, hopefully getting a reserve. Come on. Last, last, last. Uh, nope, no, you're not gonna last. Uh, no, it's just kind of cool having a TSS to MFB. Like, an invulnerable MFB does nothing else but is invulnerable. But nope. Well, anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night, everyone.